Hello, welcome. In this session, let us look at the DTFT of the DTFT of a few basic functions. Specifically, we are going to look at the derivation of DTFT of the exponential, the complex exponential that is exponential of j omega naught n, and then we'll look at the DTFTs of sinusoids that is cos of omega naught n and sine of omega naught n. So the first function that is complex exponential is x of n is equal to exponential of j omega naught n. So by definition the DTFT is given by x of e power j omega is equal to the sum x of n e power minus j omega n and by using x of n equal to exponential of j omega naught n we have the sum n the exponential of j omega naught n can be written as e power j omega naught n and then we have my e power minus j omega n therefore this is a sum of infinite terms or infinite series which can be rewritten as exponential of minus j into omega minus omega naught n and by rewriting omega minus omega naught as a new frequency omega dash we can clearly see that the summation becomes e power minus j omega dash n which is clearly the dtft of a constant one so which is equal to 2 pi times delta of omega dash which is of course equal to 2 pi delta of omega minus omega naught. Therefore, DTFT of e power j omega naught n is equal to 2 pi times delta of omega minus omega naught. That is a complex exponential in time domain is represented by an impulse in the frequency domain. Now let us look at the cosine function that is cos of omega naught n. So given this sequence we want to find the DTFT. The DTFT is given by x of e power j omega is equal to the summation n from minus infinity to plus infinity cos of omega naught n into e power minus j omega n. And by definition cos of omega naught n can be written as e power j omega naught n plus e power minus j omega naught n over 2. So by using this definition and we of course we have e power minus j omega n and this definition is basically derived from the Euler's relation between the complex exponential and the sinusoids. So the DTFT becomes 1 by 2 summation n e power minus j omega minus omega naught n plus uh, another summation e power minus of omega plus omega naught n. So the first sum is basically the sum of the product of this exponential with the exponential e power minus j omega n and the second one is the product of this one and the exponential e power minus j omega n. So this should be equal to 1 by 2 into and this summation is basically the DTFT of 1 at the frequency omega minus omega naught. So we should be equal to 2 pi times delta of omega minus omega naught. And this one is 2 pi times delta of omega plus omega naught. That is the DTFT of 1 but the frequency is changed to omega plus omega naught. Therefore, the DTFT of cos of omega naught n is equal to pi times delta of omega minus omega naught plus delta of omega plus omega naught. Thus, a cosine signal in time domain, in discrete time domain, is represented by is represented by two impulses in the frequency domain one on the left side of omega, other on the right side of the omega. Now the last one that is sine of omega naught n. So the DTFT is given by 
to sum n from minus infinity to plus infinity sine of omega naught n multiplied by e power minus j omega n. Again, by using the definition of sinusoid in terms of comp in terms of complex exponentials, we can rewrite the sum as summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity e power j j omega naught n minus e power minus j omega naught n over 2j multiplied by e power minus j omega n. Clearly, the first sum can be written as 1 by 2j multiplied by summation n e power minus j omega minus omega naught n minus the sum n from minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus of j omega plus omega naught n. Again, by using the same logic as in the previous DTFT, that is DTFT of cosine, we can clearly write this DTFT as 1 by 2j multiplied by 2 pi times delta of omega minus omega naught minus 2 pi times delta of omega plus omega naught. Now by cancelling the 2's and writing 1 by j as minus j, we have pi j multiplied by delta of omega plus omega naught minus delta of omega minus omega naught. Because the minus j multiplied by minus 1 becomes plus j and minus j multiplied by 1 becomes minus j. Therefore, the DTFT of sinusoid, the sine of omega naught n is equal to j into pi times the combination of two delta functions. Delta of omega plus omega naught minus delta of omega minus omega naught. Thus, to summarize the DTFT of a complex exponential is given by a shifted delta function and the DTFT of cosine and sinusoids are given by linear combinations of two delta functions located at omega plus omega naught and omega minus omega. Thanks for watching.